You've probably seen our logo, our people, our building, and our posters in the community. Can you answer the following question? What does the Red Deer Native Friendship Society do? If your answer is, I don't really know, then let's begin. Our vision. In the spirit of friendship, the Red Deer Native Friendship Society is committed to a community without need. We embrace and are guided by cultural wisdom and traditional teachings to provide a healthy and safe place of belonging for all people living in Red Deer. Our history. The Red Deer Native Friendship Society had its early beginnings in 1984 with a local Métis family living in Red Deer. The family was concerned about Indigenous people migrating to the city with little to no help or support. A group was organized who shared the same feelings and they applied for and received funding to incorporate the Red Deer Native Friendship Society in 1985. The first office was in a basement in downtown Red Deer. We are an Indigenous nonprofit charitable organization located at 4808 51st Avenue in Red Deer, Alberta. Located in the meeting place of Treaty 7 Blackfoot and Treaty 6 Cree along the original trading route of the Métis people, we have helped families, youth, elders and children connect to their cultural values and traditional teachings since 1984. We are a part of a network of 107 friendship centers from coast to coast, facilitating the transition of Indigenous people from rural, remote, and reserve life to an urban environment. We offer a safe place for Indigenous people to obtain referrals to cultural-based programs and services. We have three program departments, the Pamatsuan Housing Team, the Nanatawehoan Culture Connections, and Four Directions Family Support. The Pumatsuan Housing Team can help to build a plan so you can keep your housing or help you to find a home. They can connect you to an elder, cultural ceremonies, activities, and programs at Red Deer Native Friendship Society. They can advocate with your landlord, work with your utility company, talk to medical professionals, income support, and AISH. They can help educate on life skills topics, help you to get identification and Alberta health care, connect to community services, and help to get necessary items for your home. The Indigenous Coordinated Entry, also known as ICE, operates with a balance of in-office and outreach services. ICE provides intake and assessment services to help match individuals or families experiencing chronic or episodic homelessness with an appropriate housing program to meet their needs. Individuals and families who are not chronically or episodically homeless will be offered diversion and prevention services. We participate in the Coordinated Access Process, also known as CAP, with other agencies who provide housing programs within the community. Referrals to programs are made based on the length of time homeless, best program fit, and available program spaces. Homelessness Prevention Services helps individuals, couples, and families who are at risk of losing their housing or who have been homeless for less than three months. This program is three to six months in length the goal is to help get participants through rough times who are struggling to find a roof or keep a roof over their heads. Rapid Rehousing provides short-term rental assistance and services. The goals are to help individuals and families obtain housing quickly, connect participants with the people and programs within the community to increase self-sufficiency so they are able to maintain and keep their housing once they have successfully completed the program. This program is 6 to 12 months in length. Aboriginal Intensive Case Management, also known as AICM, provides intensive case management and housing support to chronically homeless Indigenous individuals and families. 
The goals for the case managers are for the participants to obtain and stay housed, increase self-sufficiency, and focus on the challenges that led to the participants being homeless. The resources and services provided are tailored to the needs of the individual or family so each case is unique. The case managers help participants navigate barriers that may stand in the way of securing and maintaining housing, and help build a support system by connecting them with people and programs within the community. This program is 12 to 18 months in length. To be a participant you must be willing to work with a case manager on the housing plan, be willing to work with a case manager weekly including home visits, attend educational sessions and programs recommended at the Friendship Centre. The Nanatawayoan Culture Support Team provides cultural teachings, can connect you to community elders, give guidance and connection to ceremony. We organize sweat lodges, have the New Horizons, Well Variety, and the Youth Mentor Programs. We provide a Red Deer Public School Division Cultural Resource Connector. We can arrange learning circles, reconciliation conversations, the Kairos Blanket Exercise, Cree Lessons, and we host Family Friendship Night. The Red Deer Public School Division Cultural Resource Connector facilitates cultural supports access to ceremonies and elders while promoting community connections in 22 schools within Red Deer. The New Horizons program is for Indigenous elders and seniors to help keep them engaged in social activities to improve their mental health by decreasing isolation and the youth are gifted with the knowledge and the time of the elders. Some of the activities within the program are Elder T, Elders Mentoring Youth, elder video teachings, crafts with elders, and on-the-land mentorship. Elder John Sinclair has given us the gift of the Friendship Lodge. A Friendship Lodge is a sweat lodge that is open to all people. It is a safe place to learn how important culture is in our lives. It connects us to Mother Earth and recognizes the other three life-giving ceremonies, fire, water, and air. It teaches us to be grateful for all our relatives, plants, animals, and all other humans. The Kairos Blanket Exercise teaches by participants taking on the roles of Indigenous peoples in Canada. Standing on blankets that represent the land, they walk through pre-contact, treaty making, colonization, and resistance. The exercise is followed by a sharing circle in which participants have the opportunity to discuss the experience as a group. Reconciliation conversations give you an opportunity to learn more about topics related to reconciliation. All discussions will be held in a sharing circle. A safe place is created so participants can be trusting, authentic, caring and open. A learning circle is a small group dialogue designed to encourage people to listen and speak from the heart in a spirit of inquiry. Well, Briety is a medicine wheel and 12-step program for those seeking or maintaining sobriety. It is a culturally based program focusing on the teachings of the medicine wheel, cycle of life and four laws of change. It is held every Wednesday at 6 p.m. The Two-Spirit Project provides Two-Spirit gatherings and teachings, cultural reconnection, help to create connections to resources, provide cultural awareness training, and participate in Pride interagency meetings. We are proud to have this newly developed project devoted to helping restore this vital cultural knowledge. Two-Spirit refers to Indigenous community members who are part of the LGBTQ plus community. Prior to the arrival of settlers, Two-Spirit people were seen as gifts from the Creator. Possessing both the feminine and masculine, they were able to both carry the water and keep the fire. But traditionally, they would be the air. Two-Spirits often dealt traditionally in medicine, healing and child rearing within the communities. 
Filling these roles was not easy and took time, energy, and practice. They worked alongside the elders to be knowledge keepers and storytellers. These important and revered roles held by Two-Spirit people were driven underground in recent history. Our goal in the Youth Mentor Program is to get youth engaged with the earth in a more traditional way, but also with culture, to nurture it, learn from it, and to teach their peers how to do the same. This program leans towards being on the land and learning the traditional medicine that it provides us, but most importantly, how to preserve it. We hope to start doing camp programs in the summer of 2022, where we will be getting everyone physically on the land to learn hands-on. The Four Directions Family Support Program provides in-home and in-office supports to Indigenous and non-Indigenous families and individuals focusing on prevention and intervention services that meet each family or individual's needs for parent-child development and cultural supports. This is achieved through recommended attendance in health and wellness programs traditional parenting programs, and local culture activities and events throughout the community. The Family Support Case Management is a six to nine month program for families involved with child service. They offer direct and confidential support services to individuals and families. The case managers are registered social workers that connect with families in need of support through setting goals, connecting to community services and resources, and working collaboratively with families to remediate any parenting concerns. The goal of this program is to support families in experiencing family reunification and prevent out-of-home placements of children. A cultural family educator provides parenting workshops and ongoing cultural support to individuals, families, and the community. They are knowledgeable in protocols and cultural teachings and facilitate a number of programs. To be eligible for these programs, you must have a referral from a service provider, be at risk of or have child services involved, be willing to attend programming recommended by your case manager, and be willing to have your case manager visit your home. Four Directions offers programs such as Bonds to Literacy, Budget Friendly Cooking Class, Thunderbird Learners, Wakotawin Traditional Parenting, and Women's Wellness. The Bond to Literacy program is available for parents of children aged three to five years old. Its goal is to help your child build on their kindergarten readiness skills and meet the kindergarten standards. Budget-Friendly Cooking Class is a program that offers cooking classes for the community over Zoom. It is open to anyone that wants to attend with a limit of 10 people per class. Each month you learn to cook a meal that is delicious and budget-friendly and all ingredients are supplied. Thunderbird Learners is a joint project with the Red Deer Public Library. It is a family program for children aged 6 to 12 years old and their parents or guardians. It is a cultural literacy program. Each session is designed to enrich the lives of urban families looking to foster cultural learning. There are unique crafts, activities, and snacks relating to a different book each month. The literacy backpacks share the important lessons found in the seven sacred teachings. Each backpack focuses on one of the teachings and includes books and activities based on that theme. They are available for anyone to borrow with their library card. Wakotoan Traditional Parenting Program is a drop-in or Zoom program to bring parents and caregivers together to promote holistic and balanced families. Sessions include interactive activities, healthy meaningful conversations, and guest presenters. It is a welcoming and inclusive environment to improve connections with an individuals and their families. The Women's Wellness Program is a holistic approach to healthcare addressing physical, emotional, 
mental, and spiritual aspects together. It encourages individuals to engage in self-care and educate about health-promoting empowerment, balance, and harmony for individuals and families. It is currently being held virtually every Wednesday. Asoahum Crossing's first phase included an eight-plex affordable housing structure that is managed by Hearthstone Property Management. Phase 2 will include an Indigenous Cultural Centre open to everyone. Phase 2's vision will also include a new multi-generational housing setup. This project has been an important part of our local journey of truth and reconciliation. Some of the other stuff we do in support at the Centre. Orange Shirt Contest and Sales of Orange Shirts. Every Child Matters Day. Sisters in Spirit Day, Asoham Gatherings, Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls and Two Spirit Plus, Red Dress Day, National Day of Truth and Reconciliation, Talk Conference, Indigenous Peoples Day, Waska Sioux CP Traditional Powwow, and Day of Friendship. We thank you for taking the time to view this video and we hope it expanded your knowledge to what we do at the Red Deer Friendship Center. If you have any questions or comments, we will open the floor to them now.